Okay, in this lesson, we're going to talk about making statements. Now, what I mean by that is the if statements, conditions, um, if else, so if something is true, if it's not true, else, do something else, um, switch. It's also an alternative to the if statement, and we'll look at that. Um, the for loop, and the popular loops like for while, do while, break uh, in the middle of um, the program if something is, is not true or whatever continue and go to uh, statement as well so there's quite a bit here to cover one two three four five six seven eight nine nine different um, statements we're, we're going to cover and we're going to do a few examples in this section okay so let's start with the if statement. Okay, so we do a very very simple uh, example here of an if statement. So we'll do the include again. Stdio dot h main open the main up. If this is how you write this is syntax of the if now. So if five is greater than one, is it true? Yes, it is. So if it is then we open let's indent a few things like that so it just looks more cleaner in coding and we say printf yes 5 is greater than 1 let's start a new line now just to uh, mention here while I'm doing this Programming is all about um, loops and conditions and and inputting and outputting. So if you know all these basic uh, commands, that's it. You, you know programming. That, that's that's all it is. And in any language, it's just the same. It's all about conditions and and writing and reading and uh, loops, repeating something over and over again. Um, and that's it. So we've finished now. Basically, it's just a very simple um, code we're writing here. So that's it. So all we're going to check is five. Is it greater than one? If so, print yes. Five is greater than one. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll make it more interesting. How about this? We, we put another if condition, and we put um, one is greater than five. Okay, how about that? And if it if it is, and the print f one yes one is greater than five. Now we know that that's not true. But we just want to see if this will actually execute. Now, notice here, I haven't actually put any semicolon. Now, when you're doing conditions and statements, you don't put any semicolons. You always do the, the statement, and then you open it with the curly brace, just like we open a function. A main is, is just a function. We'll, we'll go into functions in, in, in a later lesson as well. And we always start with the curly brace, and we close with a curly brace. Same with statements. Now commands, uh, we or when we put in a value in in a in a, in a variable or um, declaring something, we always have the the semicolon at the end. So here we've got a command called printf, and to end that we put a semicolon at the end. So just remember that as well. Okay, statements and functions. Uh, and loops and so on, all kinds of statements and, and, and things like that, we always have these curly bra braces to start and finish. No no semicolon here. Because even I make that mistake, I put semicolon and I just oh, hit myself and say, well, you know, what have I done here? Okay, so that's that example done. We're going to save it. Let's save as an if, I'm going to say if example. Okay, save, compile, let's see if that would compile, yes, nothing wrong here, build, 
we have to close the window first silly compiler okay so that's it bear in mind most of you are going to be using the visual uh, studio which are going to do everything in, in one but if you want to be like me a bit old fashioned yet yeah, you can go and download a very um, simple um, compiler like I'm using here Miracle C okay so, but anyway let's just go and see how it executes now what did we call it? if examples if example okay and it says yes 5 is greater than 1 thank you for asking you notice that it didn't actually execute this line at all because that is false and therefore because it's false it doesn't open it doesn't execute the content of here but because this is true it executed this line here it printed this out okay otherwise it would just keep skipping it it will just completely ignore it and move on until it finds a true statement and then it will continue okay we're gonna stop here and we're gonna continue uh, on the if statements